Hello, welcome to the Millstuff channel. Today I want to share with you about the strong defense of the MK-15 Phalanx Close in Weapon System, CIWS. The last defense, on ship and ashore. The Phalanx CIWS is a close in weapon system for defending against anti-ship missiles. It was designed and manufactured by the General Dynamics Corporation, Pomona Division, now a part of Raytheon. Consisting of a radar-guided 20mm, 0.79-in, Gatling gun mounted on a swiveling base, the Phalanx is used by multiple navies around the world, namely the Royal Navy and the United States Navy on every class of surface combat ship, by the United States Coast Guard aboard its Hamilton-class and Legend-class cutters and the navies of 16 allied nations. A land-based variant known as Sea Ram has recently been deployed in a short-range missile defense role, to counter incoming rockets and artillery fire. Because of their distinctive barrel-shaped radome and their automated nature of operation, Phalanx CIWS units are sometimes nicknamed R2-D2, after the famous droid from Star Wars. The Phalanx Close in Weapons System CIWS, was developed as the last line of automated weapons defense, terminal defense or point defense, against anti-ship missiles ASHMs, including high-G and maneuvering sea skimmers. The first prototype system was offered to the U.S. Navy for evaluation on USS King in 1973 and it was determined that additional improvements were required to improve performance and reliability. Subsequently, the Phalanx Operational Suitability Model OSM, successfully completed operational test and evaluation OPEVAL, on board USS Bigelow in 1977. OSM exceeded operational maintenance, reliability, and availability specifications. DSARC-3 followed operational test and evaluation which was followed by approval for production in 1978. Phalanx production started with orders for 23 USN and 14 foreign military sales FMS, systems. The first ship fully fitted out was the USS Coral Sea in 1980. The Navy began placing CIWS systems on non-combatant vessels in 1984. The basis of the system is the 20mm M61 Vulcan Gatling gun autocannon, used since the 1960s by the United States military in nearly all fighter aircraft, and one land mounting, the M163 VADS, linked to a ku band radar system for acquiring and tracking targets. This proven system was combined with a purpose-made mounting, capable of fast elevation and traverse speeds, to track incoming targets. An entirely self-contained unit, the mounting houses the gun, an automated fire control system and all other major components, enabling it to automatically search for, detect, track, engage, and confirm kills using its computer-controlled radar system. Due to this self-contained nature, Phalanx is ideal for support ships which lack integrated targeting systems and generally have limited sensors. The entire unit has a mass between 5,500 and 6,100 kg, 12,400 to 13,500 pounds. Due to the continuing evolution of both threats and computer technology, the Phalanx system has, like most military systems, been developed through a number of different configurations. The basic, original, style is the Block Zero, equipped with first-generation solid-state electronics and with marginal capability against surface targets. The Block 1, 1988, upgrade offered various improvements in radar, ammunition, rate of fire, increasing engagement elevation to plus 70 degrees, and computing. These improvements were intended to increase the system's capability against emerging Russian supersonic anti-ship missiles. Block 1A introduced a new computer system to counter more maneuverable targets. The Block 1 BPSUM, Phalanx Surface Mode, 1999, adds a forward-looking infrared, FLIR, sensor to allow the weapon to be used against surface targets. This addition was developed to provide ship defense against small vessel threats and other floaters in littoral waters and to improve the weapon's performance against slower low-flying aircraft. The FLIR's capability is also of use against low-observability missiles and can be linked with the RIM-116 rolling airframe missile RAM, system to increase RAM engagement range and accuracy. The Block 1B also allows for an operator to visually identify and target threats. The U.S. is in the process of upgrading all their Phalanx systems to the Block 1B configuration. The Block 1B is also used by other navies such as Canada, Portugal, Japan, Egypt, Bahrain, and the UK.
In May 2009, the U.S. Navy awarded a $260 million contract to Raytheon Missile Systems to perform upgrades and other work on the Phalanx. The work is to be completed by September 2012. The CIWS is designed to be the last line of defense against anti-ship missiles. Due to its design criteria its effective range is very short relative to the range of modern ASMs, from 1 to 5 nautical miles, 9 kilometers. The gun mount moves at a very high speed and with great precision. The system takes minimal inputs from the ship, making it capable of functioning despite potential damage to the ship. The only inputs required for operation are $444 AC3 phase at 60 Hz and water for electronics coolant. For full operation including some non-essential functions, it also has inputs for True Compass ship's heading and 115 volts AC for the PAS subsystem. The CIWS has two antennas that work together to engage targets. The first antenna, for searching, is located inside the radome on the weapon control group, top of the white painted portion. The search subsystem provides bearing, range, velocity, heading, and altitude information of potential targets to the CIWS computer. This information is analyzed to determine whether the detected object should be engaged by the CIWS system. Once the computer identifies a valid target, see details below, the mount moves to face the target and then hands the target over to the track antenna. The track antenna is extremely precise, but views a much smaller area. The tracking subsystem observes the target until the computer determines that the probability of a successful hit is maximized and then, depending on the operator conditions, the system will either fire automatically or will recommend fire to the operator. While firing, the system tracks outgoing rounds and walks them onto the target. The Block Zero CIWS mounts, hydraulic driven, fired at a rate of 3000 rounds per minute and held 989 rounds in the magazine drum. The Block 1 CIWS mounts, hydraulic, also fired at 3000 rounds per minute with an extended magazine drum holding 1550 rounds. The Block 1A and newer, pneumatic driven, CIWS mounts fire at a rate of 4500 rounds per minute with a 1550 round magazine. The velocity of the rounds fired is approximately 3,600 feet per second, 1,100 meters per second. The rounds are armor-piercing tungsten penetrator rounds or depleted uranium with discarding sabots. The Phalanx CIWS 20mm rounds are designed to destroy a missile's airframe and make it unaerodynamic, thus keeping shrapnel from the exploding projectile to a minimum, effectively keeping collateral damage to a minimum. The ammunition handling system has two conveyor belt systems. The first takes the rounds out of the magazine drum to the gun. The second takes empty shells or non-fired rounds to the opposite end of the drum. The CIWS does not recognize identification friend or foe, also known as IFF. The CIWS has only the data it collects in real time from the radars to decide if the target is a threat and to engage it. A contact has to meet multiple criteria for it to be considered a target. There are many other subsystems which together ensure proper operation, such as environmental control, transmitter, mount movement control, power control and distribution, and so on. It takes six to eight months to train a technician to maintain, operate, and repair the CIWS.